They got to use people. The only way they're going to get a chance to take control of people's lives and not violate their own Bible called the Constitution with your freedom is that they just put a system where you come ask me for some money so I own your body and I own your home and I own your children. They want to lure all these women out there to go out there and they say, man, you can go make some money with some child support. What profit a man, and that means woman, to gain the whole world and lose. And so they're going to give you away, you're going to give yourself over to the devil and into his ways. Because every time you go out to him and you sign anything, you sign yourself into his system. You made a deal with him. You walked out the door. Oh, but gee, that made it look like it's okay. You know why? Because you're doing bad. You ain't got no money. You know what that's called? Your consonants dropped. You're depressed. You're lonely. He done left you with the kids. And he's out there having a good time. And you're miserable. You follow? Mm -hmm. So now you're going to go to the devil. <laughs> so the devil can track him down and give you some money. But from then on, the devil controls your life because the devil monitors how much money he gives you. The devil decides how much money he gives you. And the devil takes a larger percentage from it than they give you. If it's five hundred dollars, the devil takes three and gives you two. They say, well, we're managing it for you. We got to track him down in case he becomes, um, what do they call him? When a man, when they can't track him down, um, no, they have a name. They call him something daddy. A deadbeat daddy. If he's deadbeat, we'll go track him down for you. We'll humiliate your black man for you. We'll humiliate your Latino man for you. We'll make him look like he's a screw. We'll make him look bad just for you so you can get $200 a month. Mm -hmm. But you better not make more money than you're making when we started. That's what most women don't know. Mm -hmm. They didn't check that part of the law. That if you're working in Kmart and you're making minimum wages, every three years they can rekindle the case. Right. And if you're making any more money, the money that, you, that he has to pay you drugs. So this is a way of trapping both of us. Your father, you're thinking the man ain't gonna check. Any man that's paying you is gonna check every three years and see your life. You got a man living there? I'm gonna make a report and tell. Right. Making more money you went told on me. So what are now what are we both doing? We're both running to the devil. Right. Fighting against each other. And that's why there's so many lonely women. That's why there's so many lonely men. Women are afraid to take that step to meet a good man. The only way you're going to find a good man when you find a man who's not thinking through their system. When you do that then, they say, oh, she better join the black Muslims or the Hebrew Israelites or the Nwabians or somebody else. You're going to find men who are saying, hell, we're going to do it for self and kind. And then, then what do we become? Some kind of cult. Then they tell, oh, they're suicidal. Oh, they're, 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 we was everything. We're the best. But we were suicidal. <laughs> no, no, we were the Nwabians and the Wabians were the best. We were suicidal while we were waiting for Brian's office. Brian's <laughs> office. <laughs> and and I mean, we were earthlings. I mean, and extraterrestrials. I mean, we was all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm great. I'm, I'm a suicidal and God and divine. I'm all that. And a slice of cheese. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They just, they tried to dump everything. The rock people were so threatening to them, they dumped every type of scandalous thing they could think of on us. And it didn't work. Yeah, what book or scripture is, one thing we figured out, that there's beings around here in flesh, human beings, devils, who are trying to make people disobey God's law. And they got it so well set up through television and media. They got it so hooked up where you are mad at your man if he says, I need another wife to help us pay these bills. Mm -hmm. And you say, why can't I just go have another man? Because the population is not set up that way. Because nature didn't set it up that way. It's set up where right now there's more women on the planet than men. Why? Because they sent our men out to die. They put us in the front line, and then we come back and can't even get a job. In a land that ain't theirs. They're walking around here making rules and building buildings and courthouses and stuff. And walking around in suits and ties and arguing on television about who 
just run next to how much money should be in this budget. And it's aiming at their country. That's right. You know what they want every now and then to step aside and have a, a St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Instead of, I don't see no St. American Day. <laughs> They sneak away and dip back into what they really are and then come back in and pretend they're American. We had the Dr. Martin Luther King Day, which would be the first real American day. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. You have mentioned the cable yeah. being a tribal leader. As a, the meaning of the name. Video is scratched. I mean, the CD is scratched. It's an old CD, but I believe you got the point that we were trying to make in all our previous videos. So with that, we will end today's class. See you at the next video.